Hey guys and welcome to Brave Night. Today we're gonna build our first new gaming PC. I never did that before and I hope I can do it. I bought all this stuff. So let me show you what did I get. First, I bought this case. I don't know why did I bought it. And the seller gave me two fans for free with it. So I guess this is why I bought it. And then we have this motherboard, Asus Prime B360MK X5 protection. I don't know what that means. I bought Core i5 8 generation. This stuff cost me a lot. 2 8 GB gaming RAM. This one looks great, but it's expensive too. One terabyte hard drive, power supply, and this graphic card that you already saw in the previous video. If you watch it, it was a really bad idea. So I guess we have all what we need. So yeah, let's do it. First, you're gonna need these two. Open the motherboard box. And also we have a lot of used stuff what is that look at that what is this now let's open the processor here we have two things a sheep fan and the processor and of course a catalog with a sticker in the fan we already bought the cooling uh, liquid, I don't know what you called it But because I'm dumb, I opened it three times And this is why you can see a freaking piece of hair on the liquid It's because I'm dumb, I don't know how to remove it, as you can see They told us don't touch it, but I'm dumb, so I touch it here it is the smallest piece you can ever get you know it's quite heavy but it's still small just a piece of metal completely useless okay now it's time to install these two pieces into the motherboard I click and hold I guess okay this is my first time to do that so I'm trying to be careful as much as possible Okay, now it's already opened. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, where it is. Yeah, this mark you have to be in the in this side. Just throw just like that. Close the gate. And apply some fo oops whoops. And apply some force to it. Okay, this one should come out. Okay, I did it manually. Okay, now it's sealed perfectly, I guess. Now drop the cooler just like that, or any side you like. Yep. Install the CPU fan cable, and then we're done. Yep, now it's connected. Now it's time to install the RAM. I have two 8GB DDR4 RAMs. Ooh. Look how cool it is. It's perfect. You have to put it straight forward. Yep, just like that. Let's put the second one. Now it's perfectly connected. And here it is our new case with a midnight black cover that you can you can't even see anything from inside. In the top side we have this net made out of magnet and stuff. And in the front side we have three USB, one USB three and two USB two, and a power switch, wrist switch, and that's it. Now it's time to open it and let's see what's inside it. You have to open six screws to open the left side and here we go and here it is from inside it's completely black it has a nice place for cable management and from 
From here, it oh, we have screws there. Let's open the other side. It is done. As you can see, in the other side, we have all the cables come out from here and stay there. The screws and some other used stuff. Here, you are gonna find two group of cables, huge cables like USB 3 cable, WSB cables, HD audio cable. The small cables is the power switch and HDD LED press switch and finally we have this power lead, power lead plus and minus. And that's it. Ooh. I hurt myself. Yup, it's happening. Now I should be able to do it. Yup, yeah, it went in perfectly. And now you have to put the right amount of screws that your motherboard wants. Here is the motherboard. Let's put it just like that. Okay, now it is time to put the fan the hard drive, the CD room, the power supply, and all the other stuff. Let's start first with the power supply. Here it is. Oh, look at that, man. Look at that. How complex it is. Put it just like that, and then screw it. Nice. I will take the first one. Yep. Let's put this two hole and this two. That's it. And here we go. Now the CD room. I don't know why did I bought it. After that. We can add the fan here, on this side. Ooh. Yeah, you can put it in the motherboard or in the power supply. And this is how it will gonna look like. Yeah, it will look great. And the other fan, maybe I will gonna put it here in the future, but not now. Okay, now we add the CD room, the hard drive, the power supply, the fans and everything. Oh now we have one last thing is to add the graphic card. Then it's time to start with the cables. be just like that we're gonna block all the cables so we're gonna put it at, at the end first let's start to connect the drivers we only have two drivers the hard disk and the CD room so all we're gonna need this time is the SATA cables you already get two for free with the motherboard just like that yep okay I'm gonna use this hole instead of this one for cable management and this other stuff and now take one of the SATA cable from the power supply just like this one and plug it here now let's go back to the front side we're gonna do the same into the CD room but this time I'm gonna use the L shape cable just like that and now as you can see we have two SATA cables that we have to connect them into the motherboard here we have one two three four five six or seven six SATA cables it doesn't matter where you want to plug it we'll connect right here just go inside here and that's it we connected our two SATA cables and now the fan cable we're gonna make the cable move from this side and then he went back from this hole to the other side with all the other cables so I can connect it with the with these cables 
just like that. Now it's time to add some power to the motherboard. Here we're gonna need the 24 pin connector and the 8 pin processor connector. This one. That's it. As you can see, until now I'm pro at cable management. And the other side, the disaster. Now it's time for the case cable. These cables. I will start with the front USB cable to be just like that. And you have to put it just where right here, just like that. The HD audio cable will be in this little salt slot or salt or connector or a place or spot the USB 2 connector it will be in any of these this one or this one as you can see this one or this one just like that look how I'm lighting my workstation and finally, it is time for these three little cables. Okay, I will add the reset switch first. Leave the first one and then put it in between the second and the third one. On top of it, put the power switch cable just like that. Now the HDD LED cable, we we'll put it next to the reset cable and finally the power LED plus and minus the minus in the right the plus in the left how easy is that but how hard to connect them yeah just like that power switch power minus power plus and in the other in the other side you have the reset switch and the HDD LED light but in the opposite side and that's it and finally, it is time to add the graphic card. Now it's sealed perfectly. And don't forget to connect the graphic card power. I mean, in my case, it's 8 pin. Maybe if your graphic card will be 6 pin, and maybe some graphic card don't need an extra power. But this one have a lot of fan and lights, so it needs a lot of power. With no reason, of course. As you can see now, I guess we are finished. Now it's time to manage all this cable and then we are ready. Yeah, this is a cable management. Yeah, now it looks great. <laughs> I thought this one, this one, and it is done. I hope it works. Are you ready? This stuff cost me a lot. I'm so afraid. Three, two, one. Oh! oh! It's working! I'm gonna die, man. Yeah, the graphic card. It's lighting, but the fan is not working, but it's lighting. Can you see this light? Look at that, man! Look at that! We're gonna connect the next, the, the other fan next time. Oh man! You see the motherboard is lighting. See this red light or yellow light? I don't know. See? Can you see that? It's glowing. Look at that! And we finally did it. I closed the side cover, I plugged all the cables, and I installed a new Windows 10. And that's it, now the project is done. And as you can see, I'm actually editing this video right now. So guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next video.